So just to continue, <clears throat> what I'm able to do, um, and it might be a bit rough around the edges, but I can see a way forward, um, a way to live. I've thought about that before. I've had, you know, and the, basically the key is communities, that everyone is in a community. Um, and the community makes decisions for the community. Anyway, I won't go into that too much, but there is a way there. And the fact that we have to work with nature to understand that nature knows best how to take care of the soil and everything else. But we can plant things where, in places where the soil is, if you like, ripe for planting. And um, we also need to understand the fact that the colour of our eyes changes um, the effects of what we do <laughs> and also changes the effects on what the earth will give you because a green-eyed person has the mark of Cain and therefore the land will not yield him his wealth that's the punishment you would need fertilizers you need to fertilize the soil in order to receive something from it. So that is a green eye. And then the blue eye. But in comparison with that, if you love a green eyed person, you'll receive the love seven times stronger. If you hate a green eyed person, you'll receive that hate seven times stronger. A blue eyed person has the mark of Lamech. And Lamech was overly greedy, he wanted two wives. So, here the punishment, I think, would be the persecution from the insects towards blue-eyed people. And to their crops as well. So the need for pesticides is required. And brown-eyed people are the righteous. And they can receive the wealth from the ground. But the blue-eyed person, if you love them, you'll receive the love 77 times over. If you hate them, you'll receive a hate back 77 times over. And it's what God has done to quicken the process of uh, our learning to become loving souls and understanding that. So that something needs to be understood. And what that is, that is your body that you have, that you are host of. Your soul is innocent of what your forefathers did to make your body what it is. And in the genes, what the body kind of wants to do. You are a picture of humanity and what we've done over the ages um, so you've inherited the, the the sins of Adam and Eve and everyone else since and one of the major things is Adam and Eve's not feeling like they didn't need God and feeling that in fact they were gods themselves and this is an error we need God God is our true parent and if we're going to continue living in this world that is something that needs to be understood <clears throat> so there are some bodies on earth that have become an extreme in some way so maybe they're extremely 
um, uncaring about others or perhaps they're extremely have have an extremely low opinion of of themselves or an extremely high opinion that becomes negative and these bodies physical bodies so even if i'm wrong and i'm one of them because i have these extreme <laughs> ideas about myself these physical bodies will not continue living on the earth because it becomes impossible for the children born to them to live a, a goodly life and what we all need to do is to be more loving and then the earth will be a loving place to be and souls coming down to live a life and by now this will be reincarnated souls only because every soul that got created in that instance will have now have had some existence for some period of time and it will be a loving world and gradually it will be a gradual thing but the, the people left on the earth will have seen enough to know God exists and they will want to be more like and get to know God the true mother and father So God is coming in some way, shape or form. And they won't be able to hide it after December 2015. They'll no longer be hidden. And we'll be feeling major effects by May, June 2016. And I, <laughs> that's God's plan, I don't know it, for myself, I don't want to know it, do I, I want to live it. But I know it's coming. A lot of people know it's coming, and more and more are going to know it's coming, and hopefully not too many people will fall for the, the fake, the trickery, the false. Truth can hurt. You can hear a truth and realise you've been doing things in error for a long time. And once you've heard the truth, you need to you need to be <laughs> humble to it. You need to accept it or you'll just bounce back off the path. But being on the path feels good. Once you make that first step, you really know it's you, it's real, this is, this is what you want to do, and you have God's support when you're doing it. Have love in your heart and feel, feel to heal. And that's good.